to the impact of the Florida school shootings last week and then the uh, alleged plot uncovered uh, in Fairhaven on Friday has clearly changed the conversation around gun legislation here at the State House. Remember, this is a state that has some of the nation's most lax firearms laws, but this morning, once again, about 100 school kids are in the building here demanding reform. Uh, and after the Fairhaven teen uh, was uh, discovered last week, allegedly uh, plotting an attack against his former high school, Governor Scott signaling within the last hour he is willing to sign a range of gun reform bills. This morning, the Attorney General, the Lieutenant Governor, the House and Senate leadership endorsed a suite of uh, pending reform bills, and they promised a real up or down vote next week on universal background checks for all gun transfers. Senate leaders are overruling the opponents in the Judiciary Committee who have stopped this for years. A.G. Donovan saying it is no longer an option to do nothing. Then, as we said, within the last hour, Governor Phil Scott, a Republican, announcing a huge policy reversal, supporting tighter background checks, allowing police to confiscate firearms from homes where there's domestic violence and uh, from people a court deems uh, to be an extreme risk. He also wants to raise the age at which you could buy a gun from 18 to 21, with a couple of exceptions. He wants to ban bump stocks, large capacity magazines, and he has a range of other ideas he would like a special task force he's appointing to consider in the months ahead. Scott says there is no doubt that uh, uh, some sportsmen's groups and perhaps a lot of voters are going to be upset with him for this, but he said he has a, quote, tremendous responsibility to do all he can to protect Vermonters, says the state needs to take immediate steps. This is a huge shift uh, at the Vermont State House, all driven, it seems, by the events uh, of the last week. Suddenly, it is all anyone here is talking about. Live at the State House in Montpelier, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News. But now